Hi, I'm Scott Wiley from Microsoft New Zealand, and with me today is Brendan Ford, CTO from Provoke, a great Microsoft partner, and also uh, someone who's involved pretty heavily in Microsoft communities. Welcome, Brendan. Thanks, Scott. Good morning. So you've been uh, involved with Microsoft communities, you know, formerly referred to as you know, .NET user groups and various other names for a little while now. Can you kind of tell me about your experience? Yeah, so probably I'm at a guess about three or four years. Um, so as a participant going along to user groups, which, which has been Mint, but then subsequently starting an infrastructure user group in Wellington, then moving to Auckland and starting the cloud user group. And also now on the committee, so fundamentally trying to get more people going to user groups, making them more accessible and enabling speakers and UG leaders. So it's been a bunch of fun. So what's kind of, what, what, what is the mantra? What, what's, what, what's it all about? For, for me, the mantra is about people that, are, that love technology and they're passionate about it, getting out and sharing their thoughts and ideas with like-minded people. So it's as much about networking as it is about learning, but it's a whole bunch of like-minded people getting together and having a chat. Is it really techy or is it business or something? Yeah, so there's been a journey, I think, over, over the life of what was the .NET and now it's moved to MS Communities. And originally it was sort of .NET, as the name would say. But now it's kind of a blend because there's a user group that covers just about every different piece of technology that Microsoft offers. And the SharePoint user group's a great example of it where it crosses the technical business barrier. And so they get massive turnout at some business sessions for SharePoint, which is great. And so all of a sudden we've, we're touching a different part of, of the community. And the reality is people turn up because they want to learn and they want to learn from people that have done stuff. And even at those events, you'll listen to a speaker, but then you'll talk to somebody next to you and they'll have some really valid sort of tidbits that you'll walk away from sort of uh, better off as well. It's brilliant. And, and beer and pizza is provided quite often. Wow. And are these, is this only Auckland Wellington or is it? No, it's everywhere. And that's one of the beautiful things about MS Community. So we, we go from, uh, from as much as we can say the bottom of the South Island. We don't have one on Stuart Island yet. Uh, so we go from uh, so the bottom of the South Island right up, right up to Northland. And so different groups in different places. Um, obviously Christchurch, uh, Wellington and Auckland have you know, a, a very sort of structured, big big user groups, .NET user group in Wellington is hugely successful, but heaps of the small areas have, have user groups as well, and we try to ship speakers around, so that's another great thing that we do. So those little areas, we try to get speakers in so they can get some of the same content that the main centres are getting, which is hugely important. Yeah. So I, I'm, a, I'm a person working in IT, what's kind of the value proposition for me um, going along, yep. uh, getting involved maybe, what, what's, what, what's in it for me? So, so the reality is it's, uh, it's free training for starters, you know, you go along and you learn some stuff that, that you've never seen and, and typically the sessions are either in the morning, lunchtime or, or after work, so, and it's really, it's, a, it's kind of a one hour nugget, so you go on and get a, a technology injection or a, information about some stuff that you mightn't have looked at or mightn't have thought back thought about and so you get just a, a super quick pump on that so you learn a bunch of things and I think you can't underestimate the value of the networking as well so you'll meet a whole bunch of different people that you may not have had an opportunity to meet and, I, and technology is actually a relatively small community in New Zealand mm. and, and we see a lot of the same fa faces and, and those networking sessions people love to share and they love to talk about what they've been doing and that, that's how we all learn together at the yeah. end of the day. So, so you've been on the committee helping shape and, and, and run yeah. the communities. So, um, what's 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 happening and mm. what's what's happening in the future? Do you think? Yeah. So, so my role this year is um, offline manager, and we've got a summit on Saturday actually, where all the user group leaders get together and we talk about what what we've done over the last year and what we're going to ideally be moving forward. I guess for for me, what I want to see is I want to see more of what we've done, and I want to make it easier for for people to get along to user groups and to know that user groups are happening. And I want to make it easier for speakers to present. And I want to encourage more people to speak and to present. And that way we can build a, a great cluster of people that are brilliant at talking. And in, in some respects, I kind of think about tech is as kind of where a lot of community speakers end up. So kind of user groups are, in some respects, the, ro the, the road to speaking at tech -ed. And I think that's a great reward, getting along and getting in front of your peers. And you know, used to I presented to sort of 300 odd people. I probably wouldn't have been doing that if I hadn't been you know, doing speaking in community. Yeah. So give us some numbers. How many people involved across across the country? I think I think the this well, last year I think the numbers are we think we touched about three and a half thousand people. Um, I think we've sort of got I think it's a 30, 35 user groups across the country. Um, but and I want to you know I, I would love to see that grow. You know it would be a great vision to get you know touch 10,000. 10,000 different people. I, like, I want New Zealand to be an example of how community is run globally and something we can be proud of. That, that would be a great achievement. Great. Hey, Brendan, thanks very much for your time. Cheers for time, Scott.